the Joe Rogan experience. Because my uncles, the Paganos, the Italian twins, they did Marilyn Monroe. They did all the movie stars. So when I was a little kid, I was in their beauty shop. Wow. And I got so married. So was the first time you saw a, like a movie star? How old were you? Oh, three. Whoa. So it wasn't even weird to you? No. Huh. And then I did it in their hair. See? I did, right. You're, you know, on the magazine thing, clients come. They tell their friends. I was doing 30, 40 people a day. So how did you go from, was it Barbara Streisand? You yep. went from hair to me? It was basically Barbara, yeah. I met her. I put the word out that I wanted to meet her, and I'd go anywhere, anytime, any place for free, and I knew the free would get her. And John, also, are you a hustler? Yeah, baby, I am, <laughs> motherfucker, every sense of the goddamn word, man. What a man. crazy question. <laughs> what a crazy question to ask someone. It's such a strange question. I don't know. Is Dana White a hustler? Are you a hustler? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so you hustle, right? Yeah. Even when your leg hurts, you hustle. Me too. The yeah. only difference is that I had to deal with overwhelming anxiety, which I have now pretty much got under control. What start? Well, that's another thing. That just in ju just going into against. the fight because everything was like a fight to me. Right. So you were constantly. Yeah. On so edge. when I was a kid and we were at Van Nuys Junior High School, and one of the Chicanos told me off, we'd I'd meet them in the back of the gym. Five hundred kids would show up, and we'd go at it. I'd take them out. I'd wrestle them down. Boom. Rap, pop. It was it. Really. And it happened the thirty times. People would challenge me. The kids would come and. I always had a sense of dramatic. You know, one time I knew I couldn't beat this kid. There was the bleachers. He was standing there. I went up on the beat bleachers and I did a Superman punch. I dove off the bleachers and hit him like that and knocked him out. You know, really? I went this way, that way, and he went out. Yeah, I didn't know it was a Superman punch. I used the bleachers as a as a launching pad for my punch. That's a creative maneuver. Yeah, I'm a creative guy. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> I never got in any street fights like that. Yeah, I time, avoided them all. One time, yeah, I was smart, but yeah, I, was I was like, hurt. I gotta get the fuck out my, of here. My dad died. I was yeah, in a lot of pain. I get it. I didn't feel the punches. I didn't feel nothing. Yeah, well, I that's... got shot right in my chest. I didn't feel it. You got shot in your chest. Yeah. What caliber? Twenty-two. Oh. So it stayed. Why did somebody shoot you? Yeah, it was a gang fight, and guy brought a couple of guns, and this guy shot the gun, and the bullet hit me in the chest. And then, like many years later, when I married Leslie Ann Warren, who was a big Broadway star. We went to the doctor, and the guy took me in the room. He said, I said, what? He said, you know you got a bullet in your chest? I said, shh, don't tell anybody. He was in the fatty part of the thing, and it's still there right now. I love doing hair. I How did you get it. into hairdressing? When I got out of juvie, uh, my mother, uh, the judge said, you have to put him somewhere, so she put me in beauty school. <laughs> <laughs> and I had shot five guys. and, and You shot five guys? Yeah, yeah. How'd you shoot them? Yeah. Um, it was an accident. I never said this before. Five people it, by accident? Yeah, yeah. Well, no, it was a gang fight. It was a fight in, in, in San Fernando. And there was like 30 guys. And uh, um, Has the statute of limitations passed on this or should we edit this out? Yes, yes. You're yes. out there shooting and, people. And, and, and it was uh, somebody else's. Everybody in Woodshop was making a weapon. <laughs> I remember that from high school. Yeah. I oh, used to make nunchucks and yeah, say they were table yeah, legs. Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. And when, yeah, that's what happened. And these, this guy came with these guns, and these guys was good. And I bang, bang, and then this guy it was, it was, it, and then I was like, oh, my God, what the fuck? That was the changing of my life. That, and when I was in juvie, a guy that I met from Boys Town, which was a, 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 in the middle of the country, a place where a lot of fucked up kids would go, he came from Boys Town. He ran away. He went to juvie, and they they weren't supposed to. They weren't supposed to have thing, and they covered it up. But he tried to get away, and they shot him on the fence right in front of me and thirty other guys. Oh. And uh, and and uh, he was uh, fuck you. He was. I said, man, you're gonna get killed. You gotta shut your fucking mouth. You gotta take it cool. If you're gonna get out of here, you gotta work your way out. You, there's no escaping this. Strong, big, blonde-haired guy, farmer boy. Years ago, and then I'm getting tired, I gotta go. But um, uh, years ago, when I was with Leslie Ann Warren, I was, had a beauty shop, and it was on the corner of Rodeo and Brighton Way. It was called the John Peters Salon. Uh, uh, um, OJ would come hunt the girls. Everybody'd hunt the girls, because I'd have like 40 or 50 beautiful girls getting their hair done all day long. This guy comes in, my mother happened to be working at the desk, and he comes in in big overalls, big tall guy, and he. Um, says, I'm here to see uh, Cinderella, you know, the Leslie Ann Warren. And I, I came out, I said, I'm her husband. 
and he was like a fan of Mission Impossible, or whatever it was. I don't remember what the time. Next thing I know, we went home that night, and he had been there in the colony. He had come to the colony. So I sent out <clears throat> a bunch of my guys, because a lot of the hairdressers I had were guys like you. They were tough kids that were smart, and they, and they, and they needed a chance. And they went to beauty school, and they got out, and they, women were lined up around the block. Around. Sounds like a movie. It is. My life is like a crazy that movie. That does sound right? like a movie. A bunch of tough guy hairdressers yes. out oh, there yeah. protecting you. Right out in front with all the motorcycles all lined up. Wow. So <clears throat> Tough guy hairdressers on motorcycles. Yes. That's a movie. They, and the, the, when the thing was over, the L.A. Times said they don't make hairdressers like they used to because the, <laughs> the guy Kate was coming into the house. He had a, thir- a little pistol in his hand like this. He was walking in. I had a mezzanine. I looked at him. I was naked. I jumped on the mezzanine, off the mezzanine, jumped on him. He went through the You pipe. jumped on him with his pistol? Oh, yeah. I dove right on top. I didn't see it until I was in the air. Oh, Jesus. And uh, he was like this, and it was dark, and it was, it was backlit. And, and you're naked. And I was naked. Yeah, I was just, I woke up. I, heard, a... I could hear him walking around. I wasn't thinking. I just moved. That's a surprise. A naked dude jumps on you from a mezzanine? And he ended up, ended up with 160 stitches because he came to rob me, came to kidnap her. Jesus Christ. So we fought out into the, into the colony. Naked. Me naked and him in a farmer outfit, yeah. <laughs> good thing I didn't get a hard on, right? Oh, my God. Yeah, good thing. You'd have questions. It's, it's a true story. You I believe re- it. You'd look it up in the L.A. Times.